Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, and I was at the uh, 2019 Scotty DTV Dirty Dozen, part of the uh, 2019 Pigeon Forge Rod Run. And Garrett's Rod Shop unveiled a 1968 Plymouth Formula S Barracuda, and I've uh, posted the unveil video, and now this is the feature video. A little closer look at the car. I think y'all gonna enjoy it. Let's take a quick look at it. Guys, that's one cool car. Tell me a little bit about it. Thank you, Scotty. 1968 Barracuda. It was a Formula S car, and um, we put a Hemi in it. Now it's called the Hemi S car. So it's really an S car. Yes. Oh yeah. What made those cars different? The badging and the motors. So there was actual so different three, power plant in it too. Right. Yeah. And the badging, Not the one that's in it now. The badging on the hood. Right. It had been something that that you had wanted for a long time crazy situation I got involved with because I was doing another car and I saw this one and I just fell in love with it and we went on with it so well, we had you know the car sat and we looked at it and somebody could have bought it and taken it away from the shop but it was kind of dear to Garrett and his design and he was hated to see it leave so it was really a blessing when Byron said so when the client it. showed up basically he was buying finishing a project that Garrett was like this is the project. If yeah. you want to get on board, you can, but we're not going to make a different car out of this. Right, and then it kind of flourished. Jason, who's right here, our, our uh, metal shaper, we put him on it, and Chris, our painter, we kind of went a little bit beyond what we initially thought was going to be the design. So it was, it was originally going to be more of a street driver, street machine, but, you know, we went to the next level. And did you do, is there many body mods made to it? Uh, quite a few, actually. Uh, whenever I started, the bottom of the car had been cut out and set over the Art Morrison chassis, and Garrett had started on the back of the car. He did the uh, the tail light on it and got the spoiler on the trunk of it, and then he had started building the trunk floor and then over the back end, and that's kind of where it stopped. Uh, so I took over, finished the floors, the firewall, under the hood, and uh, then when we came to the front of the car, we were trying to figure out something cool to do, so we decided to, uh, we, we actually sectioned the grills and brought them down about half an inch, narrowed up that opening just a little bit to give it more of a little bit modern look, kind of an eyebrow like the newer cars. Uh, and then we took that screen and laid it over the original grills and put a spear in it like we did, you know, under the hood there to kind of match. And then we went back to the back of the car and I recessed uh, where the, uh, the exhaust is now. Had a, quite a few conversations on that part of, you know, what to do, how to hide the, ta the uh, license plate. Uh, but we kind of came up with the idea of matching the front of the car with the back with that spear in between the exhaust tips, and then uh, we hid that, that license plate up in the body so right it on. drops out whenever the car is turned on. You know, we used the, the basic shell of the body, uh, but did a whole lot of other stuff to. to but everything. the beautiful thing is, is you've done a lot of changes and it's hard to see where you've made it. It is, yeah, I think we even rounded the, uh, yeah, we rounded the door corners too, which is something I even forget about. Right, <laughs> it, right. it just looks natural that way. <laughs> right. but. Uh, but yeah, and then you know we uh, we saved the Hemi S hood because evidently they're kind of rare from what I understand. Uh, so we got a fiberglass hood, and but yeah, we cut the center out and raised it up to clear that monster uh, supercharger that's under there. Uh, so I got a little bit uh, bit of fiberglass under my belt now. Uh, it turned out all right. Keep that a secret though, right? Yeah, don't right. tell anybody. <laughs> and Chris, what colors are used on it? Okay, so we used Exalta Chroma Base. Uh, the color on the top is is tungsten metallic, and then it's a uh, custom silver on the bottom from their Spectrum Master uh, collection that's, uh, that's had all of the, it's pure silver. There's nothing, no blacks in it, no none of the blue, everything was left out except the silver. Um, what are the and, bright colors? Uh, the bright color is another Spectrum Master color. Uh, the, it's RS901 if everybody wonders. Um, is it orange? Red. It's pure red. Pure red. It as well is. Is pure a pure red color. And you laid uh, all the graphics out and everything on it. Uh, Seth, our uh, in-house graphics guy, cut a cut a stencil to use to for the Hemi, but there was also quite a bit of tape and getting that to follow the the wheel arch and all that stuff. Just a, a whole lot of taping. Right. You were still you were still <laughs> a actually, whole lot of tape. I mean, it was it just showed up here on Wednesday, but I understand that like on Monday you were still doing a little painting. I was still painting Monday. Yeah, I was at the shop till. Uh, midnight Tuesday, you know, so we could get it loaded onto the trailer Wednesday morning to to head down here. So. Oh man, I appreciate your effort. Thank you. <laughs> what about the interior? Well, it's uh, a recovery room, Tracy Weaver's uh, interior. It, we use hide leather. It's all red. It was a controversy whether we were going to go with it, but uh, yeah, red leather really just made that thing pop. And I like the whole design of the interior, but there's two things that really stick out to me. One is the gear shift, mm -hmm. and two is that big start button that says Hemi on it. 
Yeah. Right? That's so, in the cost. Well, the uh, actually, yeah, the, the, the hemi emblem is just uh, oh, it goes says with. An emblem. The, yeah, it's just emblem. We start, it's actually on the column. Oh, okay. But um, that shifter, yeah, it, it kind of looks something space age. Sure it's does. a six speed manual, but people are already like, what is it? How's that work? You know? It almost looks automatic. The shifter yeah. kind of looks has an automatic yeah. style. Yeah, and it's, but... it's, it's, it's crazy. It's right. kind of space aged. <laughs> oh, dude, Weaver nailed this one for yeah, sure. Yeah, he did. He did a great job. And Thank Carl, you. what's yeah. up under the hood? Well, it's a Gen 3 Hemi, 6.1 liter, Magnuson supercharger. When we started that project, that Magnuson supercharger was one of the first that they had produced for that motor. So oh, okay. it's kind of kind of a little fun fact there. Right. But, um, one cool story is that Garrett, when he was a kid, uh, he was in a uh, mechanics program in his high school, and his team won uh, in 1968. They won the a troubleshooting award from Christ, from Plymouth, and so he's got a plaque That's, on it. Oh, and on wow. top of it, it's a Formula S oh, 68 wow. How Barracuda. Cool is that? Yeah. And it was, and he got a certificate saying that he could go to any uh, dealership in the country and get a, a job with that certificate. So oh, it wow. was kind of a neat thing. So to think about it, when he was a kid, one day he'd actually build a, you know, that car. So um. it's. Pretty cool, fun fact. There. And it's on air? It's on right tech suspension, Art Morrison frame. Um, what yes. size tires and wheels? Uh, those are billet specialty Bonnevilles, 18 by 8s in the front, uh, 20 by 10s in the rear. And um, yeah, and then we did a little machine work on the wheel to give it that red stripe uh, okay. around the, on the rim portion. Well, guys, it turned out beautiful, man. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate you debuting it here down to Dirty Dozen for me. Thanks so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. So there you go from the 2019 Scotty DTV Dirty Dozen from the 2019 Pigeon Forge Rod Run Garrett Rod Shops 1968 Plymouth Formula S Barracuda Hemi S. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.